High traders both in the Olympics and in Wall Street, new world records in a six consecutive upside week. S&P 500 gained another 0.5% and a new time high. June employment report came out better than expected and drove the market higher. The quarterly earnings season is about to end with more than 85% of the reports and an average drop of 2.6% in company earnings. However, this is a little bit better than analyst expectation, so the market is continuing to trend higher. However, we are in the middle of August, which means that you shouldn't expect too much. August is not known for its volatility. The market is trending higher. And as I mentioned here in the previous weeks, the market is trending higher, so we should follow the market. But again, I do not have too many expectations. Let's see the, the technical view of the market. When I take a look at the S&P 500 daily, we can see this the narrow lines that I painted last week and we are just above that. So we are moving out of the consolidation area and looking higher. Again, in normal times, I would say that we are expecting quite a big breakout. But again, this is August and I don't expect the market to do much, but certainly continue its uptrending. Let's take a look at last week picks. We had Microsoft from two weeks ago and Microsoft is doing great, just getting very, very close to the 3% mark where we will sell three quarters of our quantity and hold the last quarter to the stop loss of our entry. Our second pick was rice, which did very, very well, up 8.7%. Again, we sell three quarters at a 3% target. And right now we have only one quarter left uh, with a stop loss at the entry. My third pick was SBAC and it is down by 3%. It did trigger, it moved down. It actually looks very good for some more upside continuation, but again, when I get to the stop loss of 3%, I'm out. Let's take a look at this week picks. My first pick for the week is Google Long. Now, Google looks great. A very nice bull flag formation and new all-time highs, probably. I think Google could be something that you can hold for longer periods. Not just the three by three rule, but a little bit more than that possibly a few weeks, a few months, because I believe that when the market continues moving higher and Google is reaching new highs, possibly soon, by the way, then I think that we're going to see Google continue its uptrend. My second pick for the week is DFS, Discover Financial Service, credit, company, credit card company from the US. Very nice technical formation, head and shoulders, about to trigger over $58.10. I wish you a great trading week and see you next week.